so solid quarter sawn wood with uh, not just an inlay. Where was this made? Do you know was it was it made in nearby? I mean, I know that I saw some industry out there in the docks. No, I don't I don't recall. I don't recall. I mean, the, this is not the direct engine access. The direct engine access down here. But this wood, this wood was is from New Zealand. It's a special wood that uh, is is now illegal to harvest, and it was found in a bog in New Zealand and dated to be about 40,000 years old. That's amazing. And it's extremely rot resistant. I believe there were three other vessels of this style built. Is it illegal because of uh, over harvesting? Yes. It's endangered now? Right. Yeah. So the only way you can legally have this wood or harvest this wood is if you find it aged in, submerged in water. It was extremely rot resistant. It's powered by a, a diesel engine. Students are broken up into teams so that they they each have uh, the, the two groups, the Israelis and Palestinians, are paired off. A boy and a girl, an Israeli and a Palestinian, and they all have jobs that they have to carry out. Should have any of you. <laughs> Come back over here for a second. This is how we have them divided up into teams. So that each morning the breakfast is done uh, by tomorrow by Group C. Sea watch, which will be these two. Morning trash pickup and the deck wash will be done by group A, which is this group. Uh, soles and bowls means the cabin soles and the toilet bowls. And uh, that's, that's done by B watch, and that's these two. Each one is divided up boy and girl, Israeli and Palestinian. They have to work together as a team. Uh, usually when it comes to the toilet bowls, then uh, the, the girl will do the girl's head and the boy will do the boy's head. <laughs> <laughs> That's understandable. <laughs> Very good breakdown of labor here. Uh, it has all the modern communication, radar, uh, and uh, uh, GPS that, uh, that you'd find on any ocean-going vessel. It's very, very seaworthy in terms of its emergency communications and its uh, its its engine uh, operations. It's got uh, full electrical panel so that when they do start the engine, uh, it uh, draws off a, an engine battery and then charges both the engine battery and the auxiliary battery which the kids use uh, when they're when they're not at shore. Is that the bilge pump going? That sounds more like the uh, the head pump. All right, the toilet pump. Then the main salon here. We have two students sleeping in here. Two of the male students here, an Israeli and a Palestinian. 
in the forward berth, we have uh, two girls, an Israeli and Palestinian, and in the single and the other side, we have the other Israeli girl. Both of the forward berths have access to the forward head, which if you've ever been underway in a boat, forward head is the most awkward and uncomfortable head to use in the vessel. <laughs> <laughs> also have a flat screen TV for watching movies. <laughs> and have access to the, to the outside. Was the the boy's head or the yeah, girl's head? The boys. Okay. The girls is the one all the way forward. Yeah. 